Alright, so let's start to create a new document on Photoshop. So for that, you just need to go to the top of the screen. You go here on File, New, and then Photoshop asks you the name of your document. So let's call it a Photoshop Introduction, right here. And for the size of your documents, let's go to International Paper. And by default, let's, we can choose just A4. And as you can see, uh, Photoshop doesn't ask you whether you want it to be in portrait on landscape. It's by default in portrait. And for the resolution, here is the most important thing to, to select because uh, it's going to define the quality of your document. And so by default, the resolution for printing is mostly used is 300. And if you want to create a document to, which is aimed to be displayed only on screen, it's 72 right here. But there's no harm to, to choose bigger, and usually I choose between 200 or 300. But let's start with 300 right for the moment. And for the rest, we can just ignore it. Uh, Alright, so the interface of Photoshop is divided in mostly four parts. So the first one is on the left, which is a toolbar. The so top here, which is uh, the tool preset. The middle one is a canvas. So and on the right one is a different windows that we can use and parameter according to what type of artist we are, whether we are graphists, designers, product designers, 3D, 3D animators, and so on. So let's start with the toolbar first. So the toolbar here, you can drag inside to get something more comfortable to use. And if you can notice the two small arrow, you can click on it. And then instead of having one column, you have two columns. Okay? So it's up to you to put on the left or on the right of your canvas, which is right here. Let's say uh, I click on the move tool, you have certain parameters. If I click on the brush, another type of parameters is going to be displayed. You can customize every single tool uh, according to uh, what is it made for. All right. Okay. So on the right is a different window. So we, we need to parameter according to our own needs. So for the workspace here, that's why Photoshop is uh, proposing us uh, two, four, five, five to choose as uh, as a designer, which is the closest, which is a painting type of configurations. So as you can see here on the windows on the right, the different windows are, are more suitable for the brush itself. So we have the swatches, different type of colors. And if I select the brush, you can see here uh, is going to be highlighted, and you can choose the different brushes that you need. Uh, by default, which is going to be more rounded and with more or less soft edge. And below, some more brushes that you can feel free to, to make some try and some test. Okay. And here on the top is a navigator. The navigator is just like a zoom. Let's say I, I trace just anything, just two to three strokes. If you want to zoom in here, you can see the small, a small mountain here, a bigger mountain, you just click on it. And then you zoom in right here, okay? And when you zoom in, see this rectangle is moving and you can drag this rectangle as well, all right? And the shortcut here to move is to press uh, the space bar on the keyboard. And then you can move with a small hand, which is moving here on the canvas. And if you want to zoom in for the shortcut on the keyboard, is space plus command and there's a small plus which is going to appear and then with your pen if you go on the right it will zoom in if you go on the left it will zoom out zoom out zoom in okay and for the bottom right are the layers and for the most basic configuration for the layers uh, as a designer what we do is we we do not work on the background itself we create new layers which is the second small here and the first one is actually about tracing lines using the brush. And the second one on the bottom will be about filling the colors itself. All right. Also, so that's the most basic, <laughs> the most basic usage of uh, the painting. So let's see the properties of the brush itself. So by default of Photoshop, the brush is just monotonous and then the opacity pen pressure which means that uh, more I press more my brush will be uh, will be dark so it goes from 0% to 100% right here okay 
and now we can select the second one which is the last one here which is a pen pressure pen pressure uh, about the size itself so see more I press thicker my line will become same from 0 to 100% of the size so earlier I took uh, a size of 67 so which means that this size here will be 67 at maximum if I deactivate it you can see that this is this size if I take a size which is much bigger let's say 138 um, up so it's going to be using ah, need to activate it first up see and then it's going to be much 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 thicker right here so the 100% uh, represent the size of the brushes that you have selected right here okay so actually this small panel here how you how you can make it appear is if you have a pen wait up now. if you have a digital pen you're using a digital pen you can just up, let's say is like this so the digital pen have some two buttons you can just press the button on the front button one here and then this is going to appear and this here on the back you might have an eraser which is quite convenient to use uh, so let's go back to to this button on the first one what is going to to allow you is that so you can choose now this you know the size here and the hardness so what is it about the hardness is about uh, how blur you want your edge to be like let's say I put it on the left it represents more something brush which is more blur like this one the, if you want to have a brush which is very hard which means 100% you have something which is much closer to this one so you see the blur on the left and the strong one which is a very hard one on the right so let's do some tests here let's start with the very hard one yep, I'll take a brush which is much bigger all right so you can see the edges are very sharp if I want the hardness here it's much much more blur okay so all this can be combined with uh, all two, the two above option as well so, as you can see the size, opacity, everything is changing on, on the same time all right voila and then you can feel free to go and try the different brushes on uh, on the bottom and as you can see the different brushes actually um, you can see on this area or the inclination of your pen so all the welcome the welcome tablet don't have these options but if you have you can just come and try to, to play with it so let's start to to do a small demo on the different properties so let's say I want to activate just this one here It's going to give me something like that if I just want to activate the right one it's going to give me up something like that up, oh, so it's a very very quick sketch here just to show you a preview of the different brushes that are available and different basic brushes available okay and definitely if you activate both together that's the brush which is going to give you uh, the most uh, realistic rendering type of rendering okay Okay, so definitely I, I do prefer the right one here. Stay blue. So here you have the opacity. Here you have the opacity and the size itself. Here is only the size. And right here is neither 
opacity near the size. Okay. So, oh yeah, there's a short shortcut to have if you press on tabulation of your keyboard. Up, you can hide all these windows and uh, toolbars. If you press F, you can have a better preview hiding everything, having almost a full screen. And you can press spacebar and you can move inside. Okay, zoom in, zoom out. So I hope this video has been helpful for you guys to start drawing on Photoshop, making your first step on it. And I invite you to open Photoshop right now and try to already do some your first sketches trying these different options and see what is the most suitable for you. If this video has been helpful, press the like button or share it. And feel free to subscribe to the channel. So see you guys.